today is a day that our society has lost completely track of the harvesting of the food. Um, the farmer raised the animal, it's butchered, and then it's consumed. We have raised these chickens since a day old. They have, we feed them, and we feed them, we give them water every morning, every night. We move them to fresh grass. Um, we give them the respect they deserve and we're going to harvest them in a humane manner. Awesome. You're all ready? All dirty. Cool. Uh, today, people are so used to and accustomed to just going to the grocery store, picking up their meat, then going home. They don't see the butchering part. And that is what we're going to be doing today. Um, people have forgotten that something must die every single day in order for you to survive. And that is important. That's a gift that, that God has provided us. He gave permission to harvest food and eat it so we can survive. And, you know, people ask, you know, do you become attached to these animals? And I usually say instantly, no. You know, they're meat, they're food. But really, you're taking care of this animal every single day, morning and night, giving them fresh food, fresh water. So there is an attachment there, and I wouldn't call it attachment, I would call it more respect. These animals are sacrificing their lives so we can survive and we, can, really and we keep, can get bigger. I want to keep the, I want to keep the roosters. You want to keep the roosters? Yeah. Well. This is going to be food, bud. Can we keep the other roosters over here? Maybe we can keep one. Yay. Okay. So, right now we're just waiting for the water to get up to temperature, and then we're going to get started. Um, it's raining. Uh, I see some, there's some water on the camera. But we're going to get this done. We're going to be doing around 50 today. So it should be a, um, a short day. So... Uh, we're pretty, I wouldn't say excited, we're, there's a lot of work that's got to go into this, and that's the, that's the main part, harvesting them in a respective manner, that, and just honoring Daddy. their lives. Daddy. Uh, Daddy. Eight weeks, gone by quick, we're pretty excited. Da Daisy said, hi Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> From me. Got my sidekick, <laughs> and we're going to get going. <laughs>
right, so I'm going to keep you, give you guys an update. We are at a standstill. Um, and I'll explain. So, birds are looking a little small. We ended up getting a new bird from Freedom Ranger called their uh, Color Yield. Um, they estimated it to be ready in eight weeks compared to the normal Freedom Ranger. Um, normal Freedom Ranger had a maturity of, I think it's like nine to 11 weeks. We usually butcher them at nine weeks. But these ones are looking pretty small. Um, one of the, like a rookie mistake, we noticed that they, we had the wrong protein of food. Um, so that's a huge issue. We noticed that last week, but so right now we're putting everything on hold for a second. We're gonna have a team meeting. But in the meantime, we have roosters with our egg layers that need to go. So while, while we have everything out, we're gonna get those and harvest those for some stew. So check out the size of this guy. Uh, he was a meat bird. Freedom Range meat bird from last year, and he is a small turkey. He is a giant. So this is gonna be some good stew. That is small. have been butchered they're in the cooler cooling off we are getting one last rooster from our egg factory um, just trying to lower the number of birds that we have coming towards winter that way we can save on feed um, and I mean they're tilling they're helping till but they're not doing anything for us other than that. It's, it would be good to have them, but um, we're just trying to lower our numbers right now so we can um, save some feed. But this was a great day. Wanted to take you guys along for the journey. Um, we really appreciate you watching. And again, please subscribe.